Hi, I'm Eric from Twisted Throttle, and I'm going to show you what we've done with our R1200GS demo bike from BMW. One of the first things that people tend to do when they get a new bike is protection. Lower crash bars and upper crash bars. On the cylinders, we've also got the cylinder head guards and hand guards. Those form the basics of tip over protection. To protect the underside of the bike, we put together a three millimeter aluminum skid plate. Now the skid plate's designed with rubber vibration mounts so that if the skid plate takes a hit that's hard enough to potentially damage the mounting points, the skid plate will actually break off before the engine block gets damaged. Behind the skid plate, a center stand skid plate extension so that if you're going over logs or other obstacles, once you get to that center stand, you can continue to slide over without damaging your bike. Now, RNG builds axle protectors for the front, and toward the rear, there is also a rear axle slider. RNG also does frame plugs to match up the other portions of your bike. Not really protection, but more for style. Now, once you've armored the main portions of the body of the motorcycle, there are some other vulnerable spots that you probably want to protect. One of them is your rear master cylinder. We've also built a rear brake reservoir guard to protect that. Now moving toward the front of the bike, we've got front brake reservoir guards, front clutch reservoir guard, and in the front end, we've protected the oil cooler with an oil cooler guard. And we also built a headlight guard. With wind and rain, one underestimated way to help you stay warmer and drier is hand guards. Barkbuster's hand guards come in two varieties. You've got the VPS hand guard, which is compact for off-road use, and that comes with removable wind deflectors. You can leave it off, put it in the lower position for a little bit of extra wind protection, or in the high position. If you upgrade to the Storm hand guard, which has a much larger plastic profile, you'll see that that's going to provide a lot more of a wraparound protection to increase the wind and rain protection. A few things that you can do to customize the ergonomics of your bike to your needs include Kyoko Throttle Lock. This you can use with both BMW and Barkbusters brand hand guards, and it'll allow you to lock your throttle in position so you can shake out your hand on longer rides. To modify the handlebar position, you can easily put in bar risers. That's a little spacer that'll bring your bars up and back, giving you a more upright riding position. If you're tired of looking at your shoulders in your rearview mirrors, try out SW Motec mirror wideners. They consist of a spacer that goes between your original mirror mount and your mirror stock. This spacer moves your mirrors up and out. For the rider, we have SW Motec adjustable foot pegs. Now, SW Motec's foot pegs are unique for a couple reasons. One is that they provide a much wider platform for a more comfortable ride, both on and off road. Another is that the foot pegs can be adjusted vertically. They can go in the original position or lowered by one inch. Third, the foot pegs have a removable rubber pad. The rubber pad is great for grip on street riding and provides a little bit of vibration damping. Once you go off road, you can remove that rubber pad just by taking out one screw and then you've got a sharp toothed off road peg so that you'll have lots of grip on the pegs when it gets muddy. For the passenger, we can do an MFW adjustable foot peg. It can be displaced by 23 millimeters, 30 millimeters, or 50 millimeters from its original position and can go in rotational direction in 45 degree increment. For those of you looking for the ability to stretch out on some highway pegs, we also have a kit of MFW pegs that you can attach to SLU Motex crash bars. The MRA Vario screen is adjustable up and down and the top half of that screen can be removed using two thumb screws in about 10 seconds or so. It gives you a lot of flexibility for being warm and dry on rainy days on the highway and also providing tons of ventilation when it's hot. In the realm of seeing well and being seen by other riders, you have two ends of your bike that are important, front and rear. The Denali LED auxiliary driving lights will provide tons of daytime visibility so that you can be seen by other drivers coming at you. The lights come with 
two sets of lenses, a fog beam and a spot beam, and only draw about 10 watts apiece. That's about one-fifth of what typical driving lights take to get the same light output. To improve your rear visibility at night, there are a couple options. One is to do an auxiliary LED light kit from Add More Lighting. Those provide running lights, brake lights, and turn signals that you can add to your top case, your side case, or your license plate bracket. Another option that is a little bit easier to install is retroreflective tape. That can be placed on any of the tracks boxes or on certain portions of the rear of the motorcycle. If you're looking to add side luggage, SW Motec side carriers can make it really easy to provide the carrying capacity but make it really easy to keep your bike looking like stock when the cases aren't on there. One case you can use is a Trax box. Now these luggage cases come on and off pretty easy but what makes this system really slick is that the carriers themselves detach from the bike using four quarter turn fasteners. All you do is turn each fastener 90 degrees and the whole side carrier pops off. Now you'll probably be interested in security. Well, there is a locking fastener kit that you can pick up to replace one fastener in each of the two side carriers with a keyed lockable fastener so that the carriers can't be removed. SW Motec Trax boxes are available in two sizes, 37 liter and 45 liter. If you don't want to go with the aluminum case look. SW Motec side carriers are also compatible with Pelican cases, GV boxes, Aero boxes, and a whole boatload of other models. Check our website for more details on those other types of cases. So if you'd like to put some top luggage on your bike, you'll need a steel rack. The steel rack provides a flat surface on the rear and also provides mounting points for a bunch of the common types of luggage like GV cases, coup cases, tracks boxes, pelican boxes. There's even a way to mount a Rotopax fuel cell directly on top of a steel rack. And once you've dealt with that, you may want to throw some soft luggage onto the rear of the bike. Oh. <laughs> Your videographer may try to kill you with soft luggage. It goes on the back seat. But how does it actually attach to the motorcycle? with handy dandy straps that I will show you now. Comes with four straps like this. It's got a little loop at one end and a clip at the other. You put the loop through any closed loop on your bike. Take your clip, pass it through the loop on the strap. Take the clip, attach the D-ring, and down. This is the GS bag. It's a quick lock tank bag from Bags Connection. There's also a smaller version called the city bag that will fit the bike. Quick lock tank bags have a little locking ring on the bottom. It allows you to attach a tank bag securely to your bike without magnets or straps protecting your paint. It also allows you to pass electrical power into the tank bag without hooking up any cables. Now the tank bag snaps on by hooking up the rear feet, pivoting it forward. It's then locked on with a physical connection. At the front end of the bag is a rip cord. Pull the ripcord, release, and walk inside the restaurant so you can get some food. If you've got super secret stuff that you want to keep away from purple traders, you can use the stash box. It's great for your registration, a little bit of extra cash, dash, locks up, hides away behind your license plate. If you'd like to see these and more products for your R1200GS, visit twistedthrottle.com slash R1200GS or give us a call at 401-284-4200.